we are playing some more of this beautiful game Conan Exiles. I'm really enjoying it and if you guys are enjoying this series then let me know with a thumbs up. For this episode I have prepared a lot of stuff, I got some things to show you, I got some things to tell you which I have learned about this game and I wonder where we're gonna end up with this one because I also would like to make another uh, episode for this making it a total of five parts and then I would like to go to multiplayer and see if the multiplayer is fun or not I have someone which I can join up to make it a little bit more easier and if things will turn out nice I'm just gonna keep playing multiplayer but if things are going to be nasty then I will just return to this original save and then we will continue with this original save I think that would be a good idea just to test and see what are the possibilities now, as you can see in my hotbar, I actually crafted a little knife, and this knife is called a skinning knife, and this knife is going to be so super handy is in the future to skin and get more leather out of these animals, because when I killed a hare, I chopped the hare up, I was getting two leather, and with this knife you can get six, seven, or eight leather, which is a lot more. And I'm glad that I actually got it because, you know, I really needed more leather because we are going to craft some light armor and take a look how it looks like. Also, I got a bow down here. I really wanted to craft that because with the bow, you can just shoot almost like it's a gun. And these arrows... Um, you know, for the bow are actually very cheap to make. You need like one stone and one branch and then you uh, craft 10 arrows out of it, which is super duper cheap and very quick to make. And this thing is gonna be handy to keep shooting and walk backwards and um, yeah, this is gonna save up a lot of stuff. Also, you can see my hotbar at number eight. I actually crafted some more of these weak aloe extract because when you have bandages and you would like to heal yourself up these bandages take forever to heal you up which in this case isn't a bad thing if you are a beginner but when you want to move on to the higher parts of this game you really want to make potions in order to heal up quicker you just get the lid off you just drink it and then the bar goes slowly up which saves a lot of time now also another thing, you can see I got towers around in this area. For these towers, maybe we're going to get in this episode, I think the next one. I want to try to get an archer, knock him out and force him to work for my army, if you would. And then you can place archers onto these towers. Uh, this is going to be neat for the future um, before you're going to get attacked. Now these attacks can be, I don't know, a hyena or a turtle it all depends in which area you are in this game this is actually the most easiest area so you won't get like super heavy attacks um yeah you can play single player without having this option turned on that your base is getting attacked which is easy mode and i actually play it on normal mode you see this little building down here well i wanted to place one workbench which i had to place right down here because it wasn't fitting in because of these poles I wanted to have a building which was more open. Uh, the ceiling down there cannot be placed on the top, which is silly. But also, maybe, you know, I understand why it can't be like that. Um, but I wish there was like a piece of cloth you can place in the top in order to close the building. These pieces are actually made to put in the front of the building rather than trying to make a tent like this. It is fine, I'm just going to see what I can place in here. I also got torches all over the place to give it a little bit more light in darkness. Now of course the hot bars are 1 to 8 rather than 1 to 9 and 0 with it. I got my food in here because food, you're just going to click and eat. That is all you do and you just need to, you know, keep adding food when, you know, it's depleted. But with water is the case, if you drink a few couple of times, you need to fill up your water and it's going to be very annoying to stand in the water, uh, you know, switch it off, then try to fill this thing up. So I've chosen to put food into the inventory and eat from that part. Now this is a carpentry's bench, I had to craft this one because with this thing I could craft a few couple of other things beside this one because I'm going to need more iron. Uh, but as you can see there are a few couple of other things that you can craft and before it's getting dark I would really like to grab something out of this chest right down here. I've been preparing tons and tons of stuff but we're going to start off with an animal pen and I will show you in a second why. 
Let me just put this thing here. The reason why to start with this because this building is absolutely freaking massive. Which I also kind of understand, you know, animals and stuff. I tried to give it a nice spot, but you know, it is ginormous and it's absolutely insane. But I would like to see if I can place it on such a way. It is a little bit difficult to aim this out. But I think if I'm getting hit this like a little offside here. Let's just place it. I mean, there is some space here to. Uh, that's kinda okay. It is not perfect. I cannot replace it or pick it up. But this is the animal pen. And in this animal pen, you have like different type of deals. And you have to put some stuff in here. Now it says a turtle plus fiber plus time is a full grown turtle. So the reason why I have been crafting this bad boy is because I have noticed. Alright, I have to do this off camera. And uh, if you see like a young hatchling, alright, you can just pick it up with E. Of course you need to be careful with not having mommy and daddy in the area because you will you will get attacked. So apparently I haven't tested this out this yet. Apparently you need to do this. Alright. Uh-huh. Plus food. Okay, I, sh I forgot about the food. I can't wait to play some other workbenches and just, um, you know, get a sickle. Because a sickle is going to be very handy in order to, um, yeah, get Piper a lot quicker. So if we would place this in here... Then it will start taming a shell back, and this shell back will become yours. Now, looking at the base afterwards with the wall around it, having animals work for you with a wall is not the handiest thing. Uh, but if I have some animals around here, like my house where my valuables are, and uh, some of these dudes break the wall and come in here trying to attack the house with supplies, these shell backs can. Help me protect the area, which is going to be very nice, right? So in that case, that is that. Before I'm going to uh, show the rest of the stuff, I would first like to um, go into the armor. Because one of the objective is uh, light armor. I'm just going to type in light. And this armor will protect us even better. So the armor value is of this shoe is 3. And for this shoe... It is one. So we are going to increase our armor. Uh, let's type in light. And apparently, when you have like a light armor, there are kits available, which I need to unlock. And with this kit, you can increase the value uh, of the armor if it's about, yeah, the armor value of being attacked, the health of the armor. Uh, so let's get one of these, one of those, one of them. A hat finally and uh, another skirt and when we put on all of this stuff we should be able to complete the mission which is uh, on the right top equip a piece of light armor that's going to be very handy of course there is a lot more stuff uh, which these ones look very cool a slave portrait guardian helm um, but i'm going to need to have iron bars i'm going to, need to have normal leather this is height and uh, we need leather uh, we need a horn. I think you can get these from rhinos or some other type of creatures, which I'm not going to get real soon. And there is heavy padding. In order to get this type of stuff going, we are going to need to get further into the game. Uh, I did kill a few couple of times some crocodiles. I get some fangs from it. I don't know where I got the crystal from. And look at this. I got a spotted hyena well. So there were a few couple of hyenas also uh, on the other side of the beach. I killed them and I took one of the puppies. And uh, yeah, I can tame these guys. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, let me see here. I don't know if I can do something else with aloe seed. It says ingredient. But it also said seeds can be planted. Now, let me show you something. We have decoration, right? And I unlocked a few couple of things because I still have a lot of points left. And here you have Gardener. Um, but you have to craft this as an art 
Uh, Archeon... <laughs> Archeon table. Um, so, yeah, with that being said, let's take a look over the Archeon table, which is this guy. So, if we would place this guy somewhere... Oh, look at this, it's just... I love how... You know, it is... It's placeable on such a way... That, you know, it fits well together, that is really cool. So if we go in here, which I haven't been doing this yet, you can see there is all kinds of decorative type fuels. Now, mm, no. Le leafening. These are the normal seeds? Hop seeds. So what are these seeds that I got a lot of? Just seeds. So let me just get just seeds and let me get some of... I never get used to that. Some of these stones, and let's just dump them in here and... I wish it would show you what you can craft and what you can't. Um, alu seeds are logic. Uh, I want to save the alu seeds because I'm not quite sure just yet what extra I can do with that. I really have to click on it. It will highlight the type of deal that... Hmm, doesn't really seem like... Well, see, it's taken from foliage of the exile land. It doesn't seem like I can do anything with that. Uh, so, in this case, I'm just going to fall around with these aloe seeds then. Uh, just to make one of these guys. Just to see how it looks like. And meanwhile, our armor has been crafted. Which is very nice. And our armor at this moment is 25. Mm -hmm. Let's get all of this stuff going. Look at that. <laughs> Amazing. So we went from 25 to 51, which uh, is an incredible upgrade. And what I would like to do with this stuff is I would like to add this stuff to this workbench here. So what if you get killed and you need to pick up your stuff? Uh, you need to take care that you got some basics. Now, one of the other things I really love about this game. Uh, I hope I have enough wood for that. Let's grab some more stuff. Is if I would do this. No, I have to do this here. Maybe I don't have enough stuff for that. I think I need more wood or something, but... I would swear... Wait, I need to get out of this inventory here. There we go. So you can click on repair and it just takes what you have. So you don't need like a minimum amount. If the minimum amount would be one stone, then it might be logic if you have no stone that it wouldn't grab it. But let's just say it needs five stones for 100% repair and you only have like two stone. It will just take two stones and repair it up to a certain point. Uh, of two stones and that is I think really cool idea to just let you repair things at least for a certain point point. and meanwhile it is daytime I just want to take a quick look at this thing down here and then uh, it's going to take a long while hmm one four two What does that mean? One, two. Hmm. What does that mean? It doesn't say three somewhere. I will uh, get into it. If it if it's not getting done, meanwhile I'm doing off camera stuff and whatever not. I will just move on uh, to see what else I can do. Uh, there are enough plants down here, so. Where should we place this? Okay, I can't see stuff. Uh, can I get away, get into first person and then click it? Oh, that's fantastic. So how about we just going to put it on the edge here? So I know for sure it's not sticking inside. Look at that, you can have like plants like this, which is um, 
the cool small touch. Now, of course, I would like to also have a different weapon and, of course, a different shield. Now, before I'm going to get into the weapon stuff, I would like to see I'm just going to need a touch more wood and I'm going to need to have a touch more wood. So, let's get some wood real quick and, um, yeah, so the multiplayer, I have to keep in mind, it is PvP game and not like a PvE game. Now the whole point is also, you know, when you do YouTube, uh, certain people, you know, they just love trolling. They just, they just are as they are. And they just like to be annoying, right? So, if, if I'm getting attacked so much that building it up each and every time is gonna be, you know, too much of a work, I'm just getting back to single player. Uh, it is what it is, and on Arc Survival Default, it's slightly different because you can, um, you know, choose for a PvE server where people just have to focus on doing um, fighting against the environment. Okay, let's see. I would like to have one of these. I'm going to need to have 12 iron. Do I have some iron? I have some iron, of course I'm going to need to have a lot more iron and uh, the further you go into the game, the bigger the iron rocks. Uh, so I would like to have one of these. I mean while this is going, I would like to have, of course a different sort. So let's take a look at this stuff. Um, let's first do a blacksmith. Let me see how big this is. This looks like reasonable big. Hmm. Where can I place this beautiful? Uh, no, I don't want to place it there. Uh, it might sound crazy, but I think these animals will get crazy of it. So how about we're just going to place it somewhere in here near the water, if you would. Just like right down there beautiful so if they need to cool down stuff uh, or they need more water to cool down stuff they can do that so in here we have the iron sickle 30 iron bars that is a little bit too crazy if you ask me that is crazy okay 30 30 uh 30 and 30 so i'm going to need to have at least 120 iron bars which is a lot um, I found like 5 rocks which will give me a total of 50 and uh, yeah it is a little a little too much but we have le at least have a better shield let me grab the shield and I'm going to put down some of the other stuff too if you would uh, let's put this shield right down here this is gonna go into my uh, yep reserve type of deal gonna be here i'm just going to need a good sword now 30 iron is actually not too much what i can do so you know what let's let just get some iron i will just show you if you you know into playing this game uh, and you get like the same island as i do i will just show you through a couple of rocks if they are available yes they are available and i also solved the mystery of the crocodile all of a sudden behind me um, for some reason this crocodile will spawn when you pass this area, which is uh, kind of weird. Now let me just get a few couple of these. And I also hope that if you... <laughs> I'm so bad at fighting at the moment, but... The better the swords, the quicker you kill them. I don't know if in the end I want to keep the shield, um, but maybe I have a good reason to do keep the sword. So this is how you heal up with a potion and it's done. Like, it is 1, 2, 3 work. So in this case, let me just uh, show you this. You really have to aim out in order to skin that. I'm sorry, little buddy. I am. Uh, that's life. So, I could have used actually my uh, bow and arrow and I'm thinking of it. I haven't been using it on enemies just yet. So here is a rock, underneath the feet is a rock. And also, I just went up here to take a quick look and then I seen another rock. I went around the corner 
Um, but I couldn't find any rocks so far I can look. Uh, so let me see here. So this area is this. So these rocks are like grayish type of deal. I don't know if something is luring here. Oh yeah, freaking crocodile. But these crocodiles apparently are not too difficult. Um, but they are annoying. So in this case, I'm just gonna walk around. You see, no crocodile here this yet. <laughs> but they will. You see, he spawned there. <laughs> they got this little feet icon, I don't know why. Yes, okay, 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 enough, enough, enough. Enough. I also don't know yet where I can get the um, hyena hide for. Okay, so there is another rock right down here. Mm -hmm. I don't know, this guy looks bigger. I'm not sure if he is actually bigger. Let's get this iron rock right down here, which was hidden away. Uh, so let's take a look. I got 45, so I could, in fact, make a sword. Um, I'm not sure if there are any more rocks. So far, I could see there aren't really any rocks. Well, there's one. <laughs> I'm seeing it. I don't know if I got a hit. You know, one is fine. Like, one enemy is just enough with a, uh, a shield, but the thing is why you also want to have a shield, uh, I don't know if I just said it though. Um, yeah, if, if people have arrows, and they will shoot arrows to you, you can just uh, reflect those arrows with your shield. This is going to be very handy. Uh, this is iron stone, now there might be a different type of iron further into the game called um, just iron, iron ore. Uh, I can imagine iron stone is lesser irony than uh, just iron. There's a camp up there. Yeah, there is so much fun in this game and, and yeah, I, I'm gonna be honest, in the beginning this game is a little grindy though, uh, but once you settle, it, it, it is okay. Uh, the further you get into the game, the more you will be rewarded. Uh, if you craft, of course, the best type of stuff um. why am I missing I think because my aim isn't like this thing is Oh, God. Let me take another one of these. I think my aim was so super bad because uh, you got like this skill up here, uh, attributes, called accuracy. Uh, in this case, it was really bad. I at least would like to have it here, maybe here. And I just have to kind of read about it. One for this one and um, one for the survival, like that. Just going to balance it out a little bit. Anything else will be fine. Another potion, there we go. Beautiful. So let's um put this stuff into the iron thing. And then uh yeah, when it's done we're gonna craft the sword. Meanwhile we're going to take a look at the other workbenches. Oh excuse me, got some ass stuck in my throat. I am not sure if it's actually doing something. It does say it's like one chill. I don't know, it is, it is weird. It is definitely weird. Now, let me just see. Can I add in an egg in here? No. I actually don't want to eat raw, apparently. Uh, it's gonna be real bad. So in this case, let's add in the iron into this guy. Real quick. Get the stuff going. 
get this stuff going for some food, anything else, just drop it away. Like so. And uh, maybe we can do something with it at the uh, tannery. I'm gonna add in one egg right down here. And anything else. Uh, shift, don't forget. Super quick, super handy. Uh, this is supposed to be there. And then the stone in here. Okay, very good. Wasn't too bad at all. I'm going to need to have a zippy of water. And of course some food, which I just do it like that. And the food is up on top. Just like that. Alright, we also got some fish traps. I'm just going to take it all. Uh, this is feeding all for the animals, as in... Um, yeah, they have food in the taming pen, but when they're outside the taming pen, they need something to eat too, right? So I'm just going to place this guy. I am gonna place this guy. Hello? Right down there. And then in here I can add some food. Uh, when they are, you know, staying at this area to protect my base. And you're offering stuff here and be offering food for the animals right down there. Alright. Uh, that is that. We also have these uh, fish traps. And we have normal fish traps. And we have... Um, what is it called? Shellfish trap. Now, I am actually wondering... Will I get something when I place them right in here? Or do I need to place them where... There are fish. If that makes any sense, I'm going to take a quick look over there. Uh, you might have seen it from the last episode that there were a few couple of yellow fish swimming around in this area like there. So why not just um, place it out here? Oh yeah, the building is not allowed because of that for some reason. So we're going to place this guy right down there. And we're going to place this guy. I hope it's not like... Oh, it's a little bit massive. And let's go further ahead. Oh, let me get another react of our terrain. Is this like water? No. It must be in the water. Let's place it there and uh, come back in the next episode so you guys know about it. I think it's funny how you have like multiply a couple of things. Uh, which is very cool of course. I hope in a minute that the tannery is going to tell us more about the hiking height and maybe um, about the crocodile height etc. Uh, if it can be placed in the little building I will. I'm not gonna place it near the animal pen because that is cruel. No, this is definitely going to be right out here. And place. No regrets. Very good. Alright. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it seems like bark plus normal height plus uh, hurrying up is uh, that height we are going to need for the uh, other armor. I was actually expecting... Hmm expecting some more but i would like to do a little test out here and by the look of the time it's going to be a little longer of an episode i hope you don't mind that so we're going to need wood for burning we're going to need to have this for the other stuff and i would like to grab the whole pack of this well mind you it might not be handy to just grab literally everything but just a bit, and we're gonna put it in there, and we're just going to see what it does. Uh, I've also discovered that troll means a slave. So in this case, put this in there, put that in there. Uh, do I have to? Oh, I don't have to. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Oh, it's actually making leather from... Ah, yes, you will. Okay, that's very handy. Alright, we have two more workbenches left 
we have the tannery table, which belongs with this guy. I believe we're gonna place this indoors. Um, I don't mind to have a little walk now and then. But this just... Oh, this is again a beautiful workbench. Beautiful, I'm saying. Come on. You know what? It, I think it's because of the window. I'm not quite sure. Come on. Yeah, it's, it is fine. It is fine. And here... We have strip height. We need elephant height to strip height. Reptile height. Okay, it makes a little bit of sense. Ooh. We can... I... What? Oh, wow. Separate. Oh, I think I'm getting it. Let me just grab something. I think this is just, you know, extra, extra. So let me just, for testing purposes, uh, put this in here. And then if we, you know, just grab 10 of these, it will turn it into normal fibers. And that's, oh, three of these. That's a very nice addition. And we can also put it into that stuff. What do you mean we can't craft 10? We have... Oh, wait. Oh, uh, yeah. It costs 3 uh, for that. And then we need 10 times 3. It's going to make a few couple of these twine, which is just one on one. It's a little bit of a shame, but we can also right away craft this of that, I guess. I'm not sure what is cheap, though. Um, I'm going... Can anyone do a calculation? If you make... 30 is 30. 10 is 10. 10 is 30. 10 is 10. 9. Oh. Do we get a lot more? I mean... It doesn't matter. Uh, let me know if there is something cheaper or there is nothing cheaper. It just um, evenly um, spread it out. So no matter if you first strip it into fibers and then make it into twine. Um, it's not cheaper than rather making the vines right away into twine. Sounds confusing. It yeah, probably is. So what is this? Uh, this is the casting. Oh... I thought casting as in um, TV show casting. Uh, let me see. Mm, what would be a nice spot? It seems like the working benches and stuff is a little bit into this area, which is fine. And now I might just say... Let me see. One off the wall there. So if I'm going to make another tower here, I'm going to have a stairs near the wall going down. So I need a little bit of space in order to let people climb up there. Ah, a mold used for creating... Oh, wait, what? Ah, this is not a flask or is it also a flask? I think I know what the deal is here. Because you can also have poisoned gas in... These guys, I think this is what you make the flask and then you have to fill up the flask at some kind of a source uh, And it will be like a bomb. It's a uh, maybe a gas bomb in this case a glass orb filled with green gas does 30 damage uh, Which is a lot if you Would ask me now one last thing and then that is going to be that Really? That is a bunch of horse apples. Uh, I think it's outside, right? Don't I really have any more? I must have. No? I love... Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> what did I say? That is just... Uh, just a load of horse apples for the ending of here. Uh, so I got like this. And with that... Plus a few couple of branches. Nope. It would be a sad ending though. So at least for next time I'm a little bit better.
prepared with weaponry. Now there's th also one thing, your stuff can be damaged though, so I have to be careful. Just gonna grab this stuff and leave it into the armory. How are you going? It seems like it's going, but it is going ginormously slow. And this thing is... Holy smokes, place real bad. Maybe I can cover it up with some stuff though. So in this case, we are going to have a, a sword. Yes. And then, uh, yeah, maybe see how good the sword is. Now, one thing though, uh, behind this rock, there were like two shell bags, like the neutral uh, turtoise. And um, yesterday I was doing some off-camera stuff and all of a sudden there was like a ginormous um, shell back which surprised me a lot. Look at this sword. Oh yes. Um, let me see here. This thing is 20 damage and the other thing which is in my workbench has a lot more damage. Okay, uh, I just want to drop off something. Like that. The food is okay, the water is okay. Look at that. Beautiful. I also like how he now really runs rather than... Um, you know, going through his knees for a bit. We can also do, we can also attack those two dudes over there. Okay, okay, okay. I need to heal up or load up. I did notice that doing hairs in this game is insanely difficult sometimes. <laughs> and also that. Yeah, but I did also notice that if you would do this and then do that, it just takes it. Like, it is surprising. Let me see. Do we have an archery? Yeah. Okay, we have a spear, man. Oh god, that's really bad. Like, you see, like, this shield is a lot of fun, but... It's, it's really only a thing to... To have on the first attack, if you would. A, scri a scribble mode. And we're also going to, uh... Get some hide of your ass. <laughs> and... He's dead, but what is... Oh, that's um, bad stuff. Also, um, you have to keep in mind, I was killing uh, an archer here, and I was fighting this dude. When I killed the archer and turned around, his body was just gone. Uh, which is real bad. So in this case, this episode was a mouthful. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, if you have some information for me about this game, let me know in the comment section. If you would like to see absolutely more of this game, also let me know in the comment section. And I will see what we are going to do for next time. Thanks for watching. Are you not helped? Oh, how? When did you came from where? God damn it, where did he come from? No, I'm not gonna fight a crocodile this year. These dudes are freaking nasty.